There you go. Boom! <laughs> in real life, like Joe Rogan says. Uh, yeah, but this is Hero and Legend, and this is Marco and Nazma. And how's everyone doing with the corona out there? Are you at home? Are you, uh, what's that word? Quarantine? Yeah, are you quarantining? What are they calling it? It's, uh... Social distancing? Social distancing. Are you social distancing yourself? Well, I tried. I, I tried to. I actually had to go outside today. I had to take my ass to work today. Well, so no, I didn't fun. have to go to work. but I That's had to good. Work canceled from, on you? That's no, good. just working from home. Working but I had to home. actually leave to go do things that required me to go outside. Yeah, There weren't a lot of people out there. Though. It looks like a ghost town outside. Like, honestly, only people that were... Is it really that like, bad, though? I mean, like, people that are working are really the only people out there. I don't see anyone, like, walking around unless they're walking their dog. Um, it's, uh, pretty, not, not, like, spooky, like, you know, empty, but there, it just looks, it doesn't look normal, I'll keep that. Well, you know, I think it's the right thing to do. I think people should stay home. If you can, stay home. There's no reason to be outside. Hell yeah. Um. Stay home. If you can prevent this virus from being spread, even if you feel good, just stay home. Yep. It's not about you, it's about making sure people that, who may be susceptible to getting this thing, don't get it. It's not about you, it's about everyone else. It's about everyone else being healthy, and you are being healthy because you're staying your butt at home. Yeah. And being self, what? Self distancing? Social distancing? Social distancing. Distancia social. Right? Okay. For all the Spanish speaking people that probably don't watch this, but whatever. Anyways, um, <laughs> so like restaurants are closing their yeah, but dine Grub, in. Grubhub like, will deliver. You can carry out, you can get delivery, yes. um, which is good for like the small little restaurants that are like mom and pop type things that are really being affected by this because they're losing a lot of business. And from what I've heard, restaurant businesses have like the smallest margins for profit yeah. and they're not going to be making much money, if any, with this going on because people are staying home. So if you are not cooking at home, uh, order delivery from your mom local and mom and pop restaurant in the neighborhood or go support pick it up. your local businesses people because you know they still need to they still need to eat too and yeah. that's their business that's their livelihood so just think of the local businesses around you as well and on another note to all you people who are stocking up on toilet paper what about everybody else who might need it? Yeah. Not us. We have plenty. We're fine. Wet wipes. And wet wipes. But Shout out to wet wipes. water is great, too. You know, showering is wonderful yeah. for cleaning. But mm-hmm. um, I was reading a story about how, like, an elderly lady who went to the grocery store and was trying to get toilet paper, and she couldn't get toilet paper. Yeah, there's a lot of sad memes out there. They have, like, an old lady, and there's, like, an empty, empty, like, you know, shelves. Or there's like an old man. The worst, the one that got me the worst, was like the old man and the old lady together. And oh. they're like holding each other ever so gently. <laughs> so if you could picture like an old couple right here, we'll be there, you know, five days. Um, like, I'm just kidding. But like, you know, picture and they're just there looking at the empty sh- And it's just like, wow, really? Because a bunch of like probably people our age, you know, and even younger or older, whatever, a bunch of ignorant people just like, I need to buy all the toilet paper because I need to wipe like all of my 20 buttholes and make sure I'm clean. Like you have one butthole, you need one, you know, get a toilet paper roll and you know, that should last you honestly. Like a toilet paper roll lasts me about like a week. So let's be, you know, nice about it. Let's share and let's leave some for everyone. All right. Because you don't only need to wipe your butt. Everyone needs to wipe their butt. So let's all have toilet paper. Well, some stories. Use wet wipes like us, you know, welcome to the future. Use wet wipes. It actually cleans your butt, cleans your butt. Okay. So that's or do what you know Easterners do. Wash your butt. Wash I mean, your there's nothing wrong. I just with want to that. say, just say, wash it's, your ass. No, it's just wash yourself. It's wash the it. cleanest way to do things. If you don't have the but bidet, anyways, just you know, go over there and you know, anyway, wash it up. But anyway, but I don't know. Target. I went to Target today because I had to get some cat litter and stuff. Shit, litter. Um, yeah. And they had a sign that said that their toilet paper packs are they're only selling it to one per customer, which I think was a good idea. So, what about to the number one customer? Oh, well, I don't know about that. Uh. <laughs> so, I mean, if you had, if you're trying to get multiple packs of toilet paper, you wouldn't be able to unless right. you bought it and then went back. They should have been doing that since the get go. But then, you know, you really need to thank the media because the media, you know, as a blessing as it is, you know, to be updated on things like sports and all that fun stuff, the media is really just having a frenzy, a, a free for all. Uh, making everyone paranoid, I feel like, better than helping people. They're like, make sure that you don't do this, because then you'll die. Like, it's like, what? Like, are we really going to die? I mean, I don't see anyone's skin falling off. I haven't heard any cases 
that I know personally, people that I know, and I know a lot of people, and I haven't heard anyone that said, like, oh, someone I know got the coronavirus or whatever. So I'm like, just relax. Well, here's the thing, though. A lot of medical professionals are saying that 98 to 99% of people who are infected or may get this virus mm -hmm. will be fine. Um, it's just the people who are going to be susceptible to getting sick, like mm -hmm. elderly people, people who already have compromised immune systems. People system. that are unhealthy. Not even unhealthy. Just I heard people. like people that are unhealthy are more susceptible to getting it. Like that are like, you know, maybe not have the best, I don't know. Like, but, but immune system. Like, yeah, immune system. That's or they have saying. like They have a pre-existing condition. So that's what I mean by unhealthy. Like you have a pre-existing condition, condition, watch out because you're more susceptible to getting the virus. Uh, but they're saying like people like, you know, like mid 60s, I think, or like is the ones that are more at risk because the ones that have had deaths has actually been people in their, the, the most common age, like in their 80s, I believe. Well, yeah, the elderly, yeah. that's what it is. So. Um, but at the end of the day, it all comes just, up, just do your homework, do your homework. wash your hands wash your with soap. All the time. All not the just time. Not, not just now because the virus is going on. Like you just should be practicing health conscious behavior, wash your hands. You know, cover your mouth when you cough. That's like my biggest thing. I can't believe people are like, hur, hur, and like I can do that right now because I'm in my home. Like, hur. but I still cover my mouth even at home. So just cover your mouth if you're gonna sneeze, if you're gonna cough, if you're gonna like giggle and maybe a little bit of saliva gets out. I don't know. Some people laugh really hard. I do that sometimes. Like, like you know, if you're gonna do that, cover your mouth. Stay and home. if you're feeling sick, stay home. Stay home. Right? It's okay. Yeah. People understand. Yeah. Use a sick day. Use, Use two sick days. Yeah. It's okay. Your health is important. Quit. So is the health of everybody yeah. else in this world. So. <laughs> if you got to quit, quit your job. If your job doesn't respect... Can you believe the one dude, uh, the guy who owns Amazon, mm. whatever his name is, I don't even care because I don't have any respect for the guy anymore. He told people that work at Whole Foods... He was like, okay, so all the employees at Whole Foods that have PTO, if anyone gets infected by the coronavirus, like as a fellow coworker, volunteer your PTO time to that sick person. Because oh, he's not he's not paying him out. Yeah. He's yeah. not gonna give him the two weeks. Like everyone's saying like two weeks, they're recommending two weeks of, you know, uh, social distancing or quarantine and yourself. Paid. Yeah, getting paid from your company. Uh -huh. I mean it's two weeks pay. I mean, realistically, that's like for most people that I know, it's like between eight hundred and fifteen hundred bucks. Okay, so like a big company like Amazon, they don't want to cover that check for their employees. And I know guys who work at Whole Foods; they work their asses off. Like I work at Trader Joe's; they work, if not at the same level that I worked at at Trader Joe's, which is hard, if not harder, because Whole Foods has a super high standard. But I guess they don't have a high standard when it comes to their employees, because this dude doesn't care if his employees are off or if they're even healthy, and he's telling them to divide their PTO amongst each other. Like, who asked their their employees to do that? That's just a r obnoxious and really, you know, selfish thing to ask of your employees. I don't know, that's, that's upsetting, but I don't know much about that. That's why so. I work for Whole Foods. Shout out to Whole Foods and all its employees that work really hard. Um, we love Whole Foods. We love Whole Foods. Um, but yeah, that's our thing on the, this virus that's spreading. Hopefully they can contain it and they can get the testing done for the public yeah. and yeah. Uh, get treatment for people who need it right. and maybe develop a, uh, a vaccine yeah. for it. I heard, that, I heard they're, they're doing different kinds of vaccines since there's so many different strands of this virus. There's not just one strand of this virus. So that's like the scary thing and I get it is that there's different strands and you don't know how certain strands affect certain people and we, we won't know until this is, this is the beginning process right now we're in the beginning stages of this whole thing and hopefully we all come together like the good people that we are not just in america because there's good people all over the world come together help each other support each other be there for each other hey if you got extra toilet paper donate that to that tp to someone who needs it i don't know donate your time your service whatever you can just make sure they're saying not to be in groups of bigger than 50. And I know that's tough because people want to help people. But, you know, just break it up. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a strategist. strategist or what's that word? Strategist. Strategist. Yeah. That. Strategist. See, I can't say that right now, but what she said. Say it one more time. Strategist. So that's what you got to do. You know, be smart about it. Work with each other. Help each other. Instead of being like, oh, my gosh, I need all the TP for myself. I need all the applesauce for myself. Because, damn it, everyone needs things, okay? So just be... 
aware and cognizant of everything that you're doing. And remember that if you're not doing anything out of a good space in your heart, then it's not worth it. Because I, I've come to realize that. I mean, uh, not to be one of those people that preaches, but you attract more bees with honey than, you know, fire. All right. So just, I don't even know if that saying was good, but whatever. Just what, what would yeah, be I better? I understand what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, okay. it's been a long day. I've been okay. working since, uh, you know, 7 a.m. I've been up since 5.30. So it's been a long day. But all I'm saying is I'm, I'm, I am happy with how I see people interacting with each other. Positivity is, is, seems to be at the forefront of everything that's going on. It seems that everyone's being really good to each other. And let's continue that behavior. Even when we're through this, because we're going to get through this, the world is going to get through Corona. Corona is not going to be a, the thing that's going to stop the world, okay? I mean, it kind of is, you know, people are going a little crazy, but we're going to get through it. But let's continue this whole positivity and being good to each other. I think we need to do that more now that we're in 2020. Maybe all this crazy stuff that's happened in 2020 so far is showing us that we need to be better to each other and we need to keep it going with, you know, the spirit of brotherhood and all that good stuff. So just be positive and be good to each other. Sorry, what I don't know. Yeah, a little bit was. But it's just because people don't uh, freaking have that in their lives. Everyone's like, oh yeah, we're so good, buddy, buddy. And then something happens, it's all me, 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 me. Just like you saw earlier with the TP and all that stuff. So no, I agree. that's all I'm saying. And I don't mean to be like hitting the horse over and over again, but it's just like people have to know that it's about kindness. And you're not supposed to laugh. You started hitting the horse, <laughs> beating the dead horse. Beating the dead horse. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That's what's good, though. That's what makes this thing work, all right? I don't always know what I'm talking about, and she always laughs, so it's good. So it makes it work, but anyway. Anyway, uh, big shout out to all the uh, healthcare workers who yeah, have to deal shout with out everything yeah. that's going on at the hospitals yeah. and the clinics. Nurses, doctors. Nurses, doctors, um, registration. Registration people, yes. Uh, sanitary workers. Yeah. Shout out to all of you guys. First responders. Yeah. I'm sure it's not easy right now, yeah. especially for you guys. Shout out to all the good ones. Um, so that's our take on the coronavirus. Um, just hanging out at home as much as we can. Um, trying to watch um, TV, but it's getting kind of cumbersome because there's really nothing good on TV. And remember, if you don't want to watch TV, <laughs> make yourself productive and, I don't know, work on projects. Like I said, I run this Hero <clears throat> Legend page, obviously, uh, with Nazma and the Milwaukee Brewers Nation. So, like, make yourself productive. Work on things. Get things done. I don't know if you guys got kids out there. You know, play with your kids. Spend more time with your kids. Use this time to also, to also uh, to all the kids out there that are in, like, high school and uh, middle school, use this time to, you know, learn life skills, all right? Learn how to maybe open up a bank account. Maybe uh, if you never had a first job ever, you know, you teenagers out there, you know, seven, 16, 17, 18, I believe it's like the working age now, 16, you can go get a job. You know, with these couple weeks off, go work a few days, guys. Go make some money. Put some money in your pocket. All you young guys out there, young girls too, you know, get, get to work. Let's start going because sooner or later, you're going to be in that workforce. You're going to be an adult. You're going to be out there doing your thing. So, you know, get, get the lay of the land, you know, maybe these few days you got off, you know, I don't know, go serve ice cream. I don't know. Do something. Who knows? Yeah. Um, speaking of Milwaukee Brewers Nation, what about this cancellation of the season Ooh, until yeah. now eight weeks out? So mid May. Yes. Ish. Yeah. So uh, that's the soonest. Yeah. So what we're hearing is uh, <clears throat> I uh, I heard earlier today I talked to a few people that are really in uh, in the baseball circle. Uh, they're saying that mid May is going to be at the earliest is when uh, the Major League Baseball will be having its opening day. Uh, and the season will begin. This means that baseball will probably be going into, we're thinking, what, past November? Well, that's if, if the they play starts, all the we'll full see. season. Yeah, that's it. They were saying knows? this morning, and I don't know if it was Sports Center or something, that if they start later, they might cut the season short to maybe 140 games, 120 games, 80 games, just depending on when they start again. Right. Um, that. It's interesting. I've never been bummed about baseball until now. I guess. Oh, yeah. Because I always complain and gripe about how long the season is, but now that it's not going to start for a while, right. it's like, oh. And I think it's because all sports have been canceled. Yeah. Except the UFC, but 
even watching that with an empty crowd, it was still kind of strange to yeah. watch that on Saturday and be like, oh, it was super. Actual, it was super. It was weird. quiet. And yeah. it was just, you could hear the fighters when they were like breathing and <clears throat> like. I mean, it was cool in that aspect. You don't get to hear all the time like what they say to each other if they like trash talk. They're like, "You suck, man! I need to hit like a girl or something." I don't know, but you can hear them talk all that garbage now. Yeah, and nice. like it's great, and it's like it, that part's cool. But uh, the the there's no passion because there's no fans going nuts. Um, like uh, Kevin Lee, he it would have been a great reaction from the crowd because Kevin Lee he totally tapped against uh, against Charles uh, Oliveira. Oliveira. And uh, he totally tapped and then uh, pursued to continue fighting after he tapped. So, like, with the crowd being there, it would have been an awesome reaction to that. Because I know the crowd would have saw that and probably would have been, like, going ape shit about him doing that. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, they're doing precautionary things to make sure this corona thing is uh, maintained, if not defeated sooner than later. So they have to do precautionary methods. Uh, I get it. Uh, it's annoying. I mean, being that I like sports and I like things and I love baseball and uh, the season being delayed, it kind of puts a little bit of a Debbie Downer on things that I got going on uh, with Milwaukee Brewers Nation and stuff like that. But it happens. And y'all, everyone has to understand that there has to be these precautionary methods just to make sure everything goes along and keeps going and that we don't lose, you know, our normal way of life, I guess, is what they're saying, basically. So, yeah, no, it, is it, is. It, it is what it is, but, you know, we'll all get through it. Yep. It's going to be fine, and, you know, take this time to really reconnect with, you know, your loved ones, each other, your yourself. Yeah, um, especially yourself. Clean, you know, clean house. Do whatever makes you feel good yeah. without having to have the burden of having to leave the house, yeah. I guess. Basically, just use, use your... It, take it as a blessing. Yeah, take, take this... Take this I'd say take this time to reflect on things. Take this time to reflect on yourself, on reflect on maybe certain relationships. I mean, they're saying everyone's going to have at least two weeks. So, I mean, maybe reconnect with friends, family, whoever you may feel has uh, kind of gone astray. Or maybe you've gone astray. I don't know. Uh, I'm not everyone's, uh, you know, I'm not a fly on the wall in everyone's house or anything like that. But, you know, just do your thing right now. Use this time to, you know, really find... Uh, what you want to do and maybe what you can do better, I guess. That's what I'm trying to do. I mean, I try, I try to do that every day. Uh, I believe everyone should. But, uh, you know, maybe this will be a good time, a good moment, a good space for people that usually don't have time to do anything because I know we're all so busy, whether it's the kids or work or whatever it may be, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mom, dad, whatever it may be, the pressures of life. Um, hopefully you get a few days now and some time to reflect and take it back and worry about you and build it up and build yourself up. So, uh, with that being said, uh, I think we are going to call this one, yeah? And we're just wishing you guys a safe and happy uh, rest of your week. It's Monday. Maybe we'll be back one of these days during the week. We're not sure. Just depends on what the schedule allows. But until then, this is episode three here on Legend Podcast. You guys take it easy. Stay corona free. Stay healthy. Stay safe. God bless. Take it easy. Hit that button. Bye-bye. Hit that button. Bye-bye.